Hi folks, how is it going? You're very welcome to Geography Lesson 2 of Lockdown. Um, so in yesterday's lesson, we did a quick revision on what we did before Christmas, and then we also looked at features of sea erosion, okay? Um, and you did a diagram for me in your copy, and you I see on Schoolwise there was not an option to submit on Schoolwise, that's fine. You can submit it to me uh, via email, that's all right. Um, but in future, I'll make sure that there is an option that you can submit your work on Schoolwise, okay? Now, uh, you drew a diagram for me yesterday uh, with various features of sea erosion, okay? So in front of you here now, what I've done is I have a slide here with those various features of sea erosion that you would have done in your diagram, okay? So as a quick revision task, I want you to pause the video and I want you to, so each picture is labeled A, B, C, D, and E. I want you to write in your copy A equals, write the answer, B equals, what the answer B obviously refers to, um, you know, B is obviously what's in this picture here, A is obviously this picture here, so on and so forth. So I want you to write down the feature of C erosion beside the right letter in your notes copy. And again, guys, this is, I want you to take a picture of this after and submit it to me, okay, when you're done. So again, uh, press pause. Uh, spend a few minutes on that. When you're ready, hit play, and we will continue on with the lesson. Okay, good stuff. So, um, we know, same as rivers. So, when we were looking at rivers, we had to know a feature of erosion in detail, one feature of river erosion in detail, that was our waterfall, and one feature of river deposition in detail, that was our levee. Okay, we have to do the same when it comes to the coast. Okay, so we must know a feature of coastal erosion in detail and a feature of coastal deposition in detail. And there's no two ways about it. You must just learn these off. Okay, so uh, if you remember, what was our special formula for learning off these things? Well, you can see at the bottom here in the orange. Now it's kind of, you can't really see it too clearly. Sorry about that. But it says deep D, define Example, explain, processes, diagram, okay? So if you follow that formula, you will always get full marks in these questions. So we're gonna go, what we're gonna do now is we're gonna go through uh, a feature of coastal erosion in detail, which is our sea cliff, okay? The reason why we do a sea cliff is because it's simply the easiest one to do, okay? And this question might come up and it'll always ask you, uh, talk about a feature of coastal erosion or deposition. It won't specifically ask for, for like a cliff or something like that. It'll always, it'll be erosion or deposition. Okay, so uh, let's try and do this together. So define, a first thing, define. All right, so we must define what is a sea cliff, okay? So think in your head, what might is, what is a sea cliff? You need to give a definition for a cliff or a sea cliff. Think of the cliffs of Mohor or County Clare, okay? If you were to, to give a simple definition as to what they are, what might you write? Well, you might say something like, it's a, a vertical drop found along the coast, okay? And you'd be right, okay? So define a sea cliff as a vertical drop or a steep slope on the coastline. So if you were here and you were standing up at the top of this cliff and you look down and what would you see? You would see a steep vertical drop, okay? Um, or a steep slope and that's it, okay? Um, now, can you give an example, okay? An example, we've just given Cliffs of Moher in County Clare. That'd be the best example you can probably give. Like, okay, um, you could say the Cliffs of Dover in the UK, something like that, okay? So, but Cliffs of Moher in, in County Clare, a good Irish example, okay? Now, we must explain, okay? Explain how a sea cliff is formed. And, and before I put it up on the slide, let's just bring our attention here to the diagram. Okay, by looking at the diagram, we can probably explain in maybe one paragraph how sea cliffs are formed, okay? So, uh, sea cliff, really simple, okay? What do waves do? So these waves are constantly crashing, they're coming in, they're crashing against the cliff. What are they gonna do? They're gonna cause erosion, okay? And where are the cliff's gonna erode? They're gonna erode the bottom. They're gonna erode a little notch on the bottom here. Now, why aren't they erod eroding up here? Well, the waves simply can't reach up here, okay? So they erode the bottom part first. It's si 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 uh, similar guys to chopping down a tree. If you've got an ax and you constantly hit the bottom of a tree, okay, over time, you're going to form a little notch in the tree, okay? Now, as this notch gets deeper and deeper and bigger and bigger, what might happen? Well, you've got the weight 
of the entire tree or in this case the entire cliff above what's going to happen to this it's going to give way and collapse it's going to collapse down here into the sea all right and what's going to happen then the process will happen again the erode the, the, i mean the, the waves are still crashing against the shore so they're going to keep causing erosion so if you look here guys you can see look uh, these dotted lines here represent where the cliff used to be so the cliff used to be all the way out here okay but what happened erosion formed a notch this notch got deep eventually this collapsed in okay what well, continued to happen erosion kept continuing to happen okay continuing here again leaving behind this notch again what happened the top bit here the cliff the wave cut cliff collapsed in okay and retreated further and further in okay and then you've got here the wave cut platform what's the wave cut platform the wave cut platform is the platform where the cliff used to be okay the cliff used to be all the way out here because of erosion it has retreated inland okay so explanation we're going to go through this together at high tide waves erode a notch on the coast so this is your notch here guys your little notch on the coast continued erosion causes the notch to enlarge and get deeper and deeper okay the rock above the notch is undercut and eventually collapses okay so it's undercut the notch is cutting under the rock and the weight of this rock here uh, causes it to collapse forming a cliff a wave cut platform is left behind where the cliff used to be so this is where the cliff used to be but it has been eroded the notch gets bigger and the cliff collapses in um, now, interesting thing here, we actually don't have it on our diagram, but you've got uh, deposited sediment in the uh, from the cliff forms a wave built terrace. So sometimes a little pile of rock and sediment that used to form the cliff here builds up to form a wave built terrace. Okay, and um, the processes involved are hydraulic action, abrasion, and solution. Now, why don't we include include attrition in that? Well, we know attrition is to do with the rocks in the sea wearing each other down it's not to do with wearing the coastline down okay so guys um there's no i suppose two ways about this we must be able to answer this and know this okay so your homework okay um for you have to to do this okay your classwork as well i suppose because you can do it now is to simply copy the diagram and copy our deep d our definition examples and our explanation and processes into our notes copy and please make sure guys along with the revision task so this uh, the previous task that one there take clear pictures of those and send those to me on schoolwise i'll make sure there's an option to send them and upload them onto schoolwise okay and guys what i'm going to do is i might give you a, a little kind of uh, revision task on the sea cliff in our next class on thursday okay and guys keep an eye on school wise because i will probably do a live lesson at some stage and um, if not this week perhaps next week okay and um, but folks again your task is to take down this into your notes copy along with our uh, revision task at the start of class okay folks thanks a million for tuning in we'll chat to you on thursday